In this video, I'm going to attempt to photograph the full snow moon as it rises just before sunset. Welcome back to Moon Missions Season 2. It's the middle of winter here in Idaho, and getting out to photograph anything this time of year is challenging. Week after week of cloudy skies, snow, and below freezing temps will stop even the most dedicated photogs. But not me. This SoCal native was built differently. Or <laughs> maybe I'm just crazy. Today, I'm chasing moonrise from the small town of Nampa, which is about 20 minutes west of Boise. If you've ever driven down the I-84, you've probably passed by the Algamated Sugar Company and noticed the giant smokestacks, especially if you go by during the winter. Since I first moved here a couple of years ago, I've always wanted to try to line up a shot with the moon. I don't know, I just thought it might make for a cool time lapse with all the steam coming out. I've actually already attempted this shot on two other occasions. Back in December of 2023, I tried to get a shot of the beaver moon setting behind it, but couldn't get a clear view of the building, and the timing was slightly off with the sun rising so closely to moonset. I did get a couple of cool looking time lapse this morning, but wasn't completely satisfied. I knew I'd be coming back to this target. After a full year of waiting to line this target up again, last month I was blessed with clear skies on the night of the full wolf moon. Because this time around, I would be photographing the moon rising instead of it setting, I had to find a new location to shoot from. Needless to say, I was pretty disappointed when I arrived and saw how cluttered the shot was. There was power lines, billboards, and the highway all in frame. I didn't have time to find a new location to shoot from, so I decided to just stay and see what happens. What ended up happening was, just minutes before moonrise, some guy claiming to be a security guard showed up and asked me to leave. He repeatedly told me to get in my car and get the fuck out of here as I tried to explain to him that I wasn't even on private property and he had no authority to kick me out. Eventually he got frustrated and told me I could stay and he left just as the moon started to rise above the horizon. I quickly realized my planning was way off and knew it had to have been because I didn't know the exact height of the smokestack. I guess it was somewhere around 200 feet tall when it's actually closer to about 245 feet. Fuck me. The moon rose way closer to the tower. Like, look, I have the cameras way over there. And now my camera's way over here, and I'm not even sure how that's gonna line up. I got them both up and running. Day to night time lapse is going. Got this one shooting a little early quick shot of it rising right below the the tower. I'm going to readjust this in a minute and set it up for the tower. And yeah, I don't know. I kind of actually like this composition a little bit better because the power lines are working a little bit more in my favor from here. After a quick panic attack, I was able to reposition my cameras just in time to get this I definitely wasn't happy about not getting the full day to night time lapse, but look how amazing this 1200mm time lapse shot of the moon going through the steam looks. You can even see the planet Mars following the moon through frame. This is exactly what I had imagined my shot would look like earlier in the day when I was planning it using the Planet Pro for Photographers app. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on how I plan these type of shots using the app. Okay, it's now February 11th and I didn't have time to plan a different shot, plus I kind of wanted to try to get the shot from last month again. I don't know why, but I guess part of me just wants to double check that I now have the exact height of the tower correct for future shoots. Alright, I'm just now starting to see the moon come up above the horizon, so 
I just got a couple minutes and I figured I'd go over what cameras I'm shooting with and maybe my settings. Right here I have the Sony A7R Mark III with a Canon 70 to 200 millimeter lens on. It's shooting at 200 millimeters and this is what I consider to be my my wide shot even though 200 millimeters is far from wide but it's definitely going to be a lot wider of a shot than what I'm getting over here and right here I have the Sony a7 mark 3 with the Sigma 150 to 600 art lens on it and that's shooting at 600 millimeters and you can't really see it right now because that the ankle weight right there is blocking it but there is a two times extender so it'll give me a combined focal length of 1200 millimeters and yeah so that's my telephoto shot that right now is just kind of getting the moon coming up above the horizon I feel like this month's shoot went smoother than the last, but I ultimately liked the telephoto shot from last month better. The sky was just too light this time due to the fact that moonrise was so close to sunset. I definitely prefer the shot I got in January where the moon was orange and it had more detail. Who knows, maybe I'll come back to this shot sometime in the future. As always, thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one.